Newmark Learning presents Jump into Genre. Follow along as I read. Turn the page when you hear this sound. Now let's start reading. Jump into genre. How Rabbit Lost His Tail, a Porqua Tale, retold by Cynthia Swain, illustrated by Juan Bautista Juan Oliver. About the genre, Porqua Tales. A Porqua Tale is a short story that explains why something in the natural world is the way it is. Usually, the characters in a Porqua Tale are animals. Sometimes the characters are other objects in nature, such as the sun, the sky, or the sea. About the tail, how rabbit lost his tail. This story is adapted from a Sioux Indian tale, but there are other versions of the story. Another Sioux version has rabbit challenge some wolves in a tail pulling contest. In a Cherokee version. Rabbit challenges an otter in the same type of contest. Porqua tales often have different versions among and within cultures. How rabbit lost his tail, a Native American porqua tale, retold by Cynthia Swain, illustrated by Juan Bautista Juan Oliver. Rabbit thought he was the best-looking, most handsome animal in the forest. He liked to show off his thick white fur. He loved to show off his long, bushy tail. My tail is so pretty, soft, and fluffy," bragged Rabbit. Snow was falling one cold winter day. Brr. Said Deer, "I wish I had a tail like Rabbit. If I did, I would wrap it around myself. It would keep me warm." I wish I had a tail like Rabbit too," said Owl. "A long tail would help me catch food." Squirrel had a short, ugly tail. "Could I have one piece of hair from your lengthy tail?" Squirrel asked, "It is a small thing for you, but it would mean a lot to me." No," said Rabbit. "I could not give up one hair. It would not be fair," sang Rabbit. "My tail I cannot share. If I did, I would not have it for me." Then Rabbit danced around, showing off his tail some more. Rabbit grew tired from singing, dancing, and bragging about his tail. The snow was thick now; a white carpet covered his home. All Rabbit could see was a tree. He climbed up to a high branch. Rabbit fell asleep on that branch. He slept for months. When he woke up. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, and the air was warm. It must be spring. I will find many flowers to eat, Rabbit said. He stretched his arms and legs, but as he stretched, he almost fell off the branch. Rabbit forgot he was in a tree. He looked down, got dizzy. And hugged the tree for dear life. Then he heard a crack. Oh no! The branch might break! Cried terrified Rabbit. He had to think fast. Dear, help me! Called Rabbit. You can jump high, yet never get hurt when you land. Teach me to jump. It is too late to learn now," said Deer. 
We might have been good friends, sharing with each other, but you never shared with me. Owl, help me, cried Rabbit. You can fly, so show me how. I am sorry, said Owl. Flying is only for birds. I might have taught you how to use your tail as a parachute, but you only wanted to show it off. Squirrel, said Rabbit. We are almost cousins. Can you teach me to climb down trees? Squirrel smiled sadly and sang his own song to Rabbit. Never would I dare, can't you see? It wouldn't be fair. Rabbit had no choice. He closed his eyes and let go of the branch. Rabbit fell straight to the ground. As he fell, his long, bushy tail snagged in a low branch. Rabbit, however, kept falling, and so his tail was pulled off. Rip! All that was left of his long, bushy tail was a small stump of fluff. Now, all rabbits have short tails. It reminds rabbits to be generous. Now, rabbits are nice to their friends. They are never selfish or boastful. I enjoyed reading this book with you. Let's read again soon.